Urgent new warnings this evening about the Zika virus. Tonight, the head of the World Health Organization now sounding the alarm, saying it's, quote, spreading explosively by one estimate up to 4 million cases across North and South America in the next year. Here in the U.S., at least 31 cases in 11 states, and late today, the first case in Boston, all contracted before coming back to the U.S. And this map showing the parts of the country authorities say are most vulnerable now. Zika virus linked to a serious birth defect. Babies born with shrunken heads, their brain development interrupted. So the question, how long does it stay in your body and does it affect future pregnancies? Dr. Richard Besser is in Brazil for us tonight. Fabiola takes me to her home in Rio. She's a physical therapist, five months pregnant with her third child. Uh -huh. To keep away the mosquitoes. And now spending her hard-earned income on insect repellents. Reapplying every two hours. She's most afraid for her unborn baby. Zika may be linked to microcephaly. Thousands of babies here in Brazil have been born with the tiny heads that indicate severe brain damage. Up to one and a half million cases of Zika so far here in Brazil. It's spreading in 23 areas across the Americas. The World Health Organization expects three to four million cases overall saying the level of alarm is extremely high. In the U.S., at least 31 lab-confirmed cases in 11 states, all people who traveled to affected areas and returned. And as of today, state health departments will be required to report all new cases to the CDC. There's no vaccine yet, no treatment. The Brazilian government spraying for mosquitoes. The only action people can take is to avoid getting bitten. Our team here keeps applying repellent, as does Fabiola. And so let's get right to Dr. Besser tonight, joining us now from Brazil. And first, Rich, let's tackle what people back here in the U.S. are concerned about. If a neighbor comes home from one of these regions with the Zika virus, can they then pass it on to their neighbors? Well, well, they can. If they come back and they're infected and a mosquito bites them, that mosquito can bite other people and infect them. That's why if you have any symptoms when you return, see your doctor and use repellents so you don't get bit. Tell your family and the people around you to use the repellent, too. And you've also pointed out, Rich, that pregnant women need to be most concerned. How long does the virus stay in the system, and can it affect a future pregnancy? Well, if you look at similar type viruses, what they find is when, when a person recovers from that infection after about a week or so and their symptoms are gone, the virus is out of their body. So scientists don't believe that future pregnancies are going to be at any risk at all just the current one when you're infected. Dr. Besser on this again tonight. Dr. Besser, thank you.